There's the, the liquid biopsy question. Um, one of the real areas of great interest and uh, for which there is uh, an awful lot of enthusiasm is the, this concept of the so-called liquid biopsy, the, the idea that for, for at least some uh, biomarker-based tests, primarily DNA-based tests, um, we can, instead of using a, a sample of the patient's tumour in a biopsy, we can use uh, circulating free uh, DNA extracted from the blood. And this is certainly a very interesting uh, approach to biomarker testing. Um, it may obviate the need for uh, a biopsy in a particular patient, although it has to be tempered with some, some reality um, in that um, the, the copy numbers of some mutated uh, genes um, in the circulation can be incredibly low, making detection extremely challenging, um, requiring very high sensitive techniques which uh, come with a cost in terms of uh, possible false uh, positive testing. So we're, we're struggling with uh, some of the, the challenges and some of the, the technologies that have to be applied for blood testing. But if we know specifically what we're looking for, if we're looking for a very particular mutation, and the best example in the lung cancer sphere is the T790M uh, gatekeeper mutation, um, which is the, the most frequent uh, resistance mechanism uh, for patients failing on an EGFR TKI. Um, the blood test uh, shows fabulous um, results and, and promise um, as an alternative to the tissue test, although it, it is 65, 70% of patients who may have a detectable um, mutation in the blood when they have a mutation. A, a, a T790M recurrent disease. So you, you will not pick up all the patients, and those, so those patients still need a biopsy. Um, but for a group of patients, obviously, uh, or, or those who are not fit enough for a biopsy, uh, it's a great alternative.